Hey everyone, this is Nikki Blue, and I just wanted to talk to you about the ESP science book I am writing, and I want to talk to you guys about it. And <laughs> I'm excited to finally be back to my writing and not caring about what other people think or what I think. But one thing I was blessed with growing up was ESP, extrasensory perception, and my whole life it's plagued me so I thought <laughs> and I've always tried to hide it cover it up not talk about it and all that ever does is just hurt myself and everything like that and one thing that I've been noticing in the media lately is they're finally coming out and saying, well, humans can sense electromagnetic fields. And I'm like, finally. And then in the article, of course, it says an ESP doesn't exist, yada, yada, yada. And then, of course, NASA came out with an article saying, oh, you know, this solar storm's happening. And don't be surprised if your intuition all of a sudden works and you're manic and you have psychic visions. What? You guys just got through saying the other day that there's no such thing as psychics, there's no such thing as ESP, and then the next day you come out and say, yeah, it's real, and you might experience this because the sun just had a fart. <laughs> I'm just like, thank you. And then they cleverly renamed it to ESS, because guess who has ESP science owned, bitches? Um, boom. Yes. <laughs> and they don't want my book out for sure. And of course, when it does come out, they're just going to go, oh, she's just a Looney Tune felon slash crazy person talking about chemtrails and aliens and UF fucks. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> because I don't care anymore, and I'm going to announce my crap, and you guys can just suck it, because that's what I'm going to do later, Gator. But um, ESP science is some pretty fun shit, and the first thing, first lesson about ESP science I have to tell you guys about is how it works. Mm-hmm. We all actually have the ability to do psychic things, but of course nobody really knows how because, you know, when Hollywood and all that, it's just, you know, superheroes, mutants, and blah de blah de blah blah blah. And how it works is if you try too hard, it don't work. If you think you can do it and you're egotistical and your ego's like, I got this, bitch, I got this, won't work. If you think, oh, it's not going to work, I'm a loser, not going to work. Yeah. What does work is you have to clear your mind, which is pretty hard to do in our age now because everyone has ADHD, I know I do, in the head, but you got to clear your mind and let go of all control and let it go and let it happen. And I can just say this all day and most people are like, what the fuck, I want to see her tits, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty covered, <laughs> but um, that's, that's it. That's it, and I love remote viewing, and basically how I do it is first I have to have a target to remote view, and generally I use a name, because everyone associates a name to something, a picture, words. Thank you, man, for creating words, because you can pinpoint and do all this magic and cool shit with them. So first, I think of a name. And the name I'm going to think of right now is John. And then I close my eyes. 
And then typically I bury my face in a pillow to drown out all the other light so that I can't see anything. And then I use my third eye, which is the pineal gland that's inside your head that kind of looks like a, um, never mind. <laughs> it kind of looks like a pine cone, but anyways, I do that. And then I see different colors, and generally the colors mean emotion and feelings. Based on how bright or dark they are generally means how strong the emotion is. And then I see gold lights and lines, and it typically tells me, okay, this person's thinking a lot of things, or they're thinking of nothing. And then sometimes I'll see shapes of things. And it's kind of like looking up at the clouds, if you can actually see shapes in them, if you have a little bit of imagination in your brain. And then I see shapes, and typically it's like really crazy stuff. And I'm just like, okay, I see a skull, or I see an octopus, or I see a square, or a circle. And that's how I do it. And I'm going to get back to doing it on my Twitter. I'm offering free psychic readings. Free, the keyword. <laughs> because I'm in legal problems, <laughs> and I can't really make money right now. So, but that's not really why I'm doing it anymore. Anyway, I just miss remote viewing people and talking to people. And so, if you're bored and you're out there and you're just like, what the fuck, I want a psychic reading from a, you know, crazy ex kinky person, <laughs> just hit me up on Twitter at Nikki Blue and say, hey, I want my psychic reading, and I will give it to you free. Granted, it's not going to be the normal, I can see your future, and you're going to die in a wreck, or you're going to be a billionaire, or you're going to play piano. No, I don't read that. I read location, and your feelings, and your thoughts. And, of course, everyone's like, fucking crazy psycho bitch, but, you know, people think a zillion things all the time, subconsciously and consciously, and it's hard to, like, pinpoint the exact thing you want me to say because your brain's thinking all this shit, but I can tell you some things and hopefully you'll enjoy. And that's my ESP science crap of the day. So... Enjoy your week, and I love you. Yeah. <laughs>